Hello, Grade 11s. So we're working on the Grade 11 PAT uh, from the Department of Basic Education, and I'm working from the learner guidelines from the DBE. We're going to start off by um, looking at uh, the step-by-step -step guidelines, and we're going to create a suitable folder structure. So you'll just ask your teacher where you're supposed to be able to, where you're supposed to do this. We're going to do this in our PAT data folders. And you're going to create three folders for your phase one, phase two, and phase three. Inside phase one, you will make a subfolder for your sources or your um, Brona if you're doing it in Afrikaans. And in phase two, you'll have a subfolder for your questionnaires. And in phase three, you will have a subfolder for your website, which is what we'll be doing this year instead of a PowerPoint folder or a PowerPoint presentation, I mean. Okay, so that's the folder structure that we've done. Next up, we're going to create a report. So inside your phase one, you can go ahead and create a Word document and you'll call that Word document whatever your topic is about. So I'm just going to create a fictional topic about, let's say, gardening. And it'll be a report. So whatever your topic is, report. And you can go ahead and open that up. Okay, now you can open up your um, Word document and first off we're going to insert a cover page. So on the insert tab go and look for a cover page that you like. Um, you can go down, find something that that suits your fancy. You can always go look for more covers from office.com if there's something that you like. So let's say I choose this one. Just remember if you choose something that has a picture you'll have to change it to a picture that actually goes with your topic. I'll just choose this one. All right, so um, if you've already done the chapter on uh, cover pages, which we've done, then you'll know these are called content controls. So we need specific content controls. Let's just have a look for what. We need a content control for your name and surname, the name of your school, the subject name and the PAT topic, and a content control for the abstract. All right. So go have a look and we'll see what we can all fill in so long. So I'll just put this on the other side. So if you, most of the cover pages will already have one that says author. If that has already filled in automatically, then that's good. If it hasn't, please fill in your name and surname now. The name of your school, you can fill in in the content control called company. If there isn't one anywhere here, let's just see, that is called company like this, then try to find it. If it's not there, remember, use your arrows to go out of a content control, press space, and then insert one for company. So you can find that on the insert tab, quick parts, document property, and choose company, and then insert your school name. The subject name, you can put in on, at, under subject, so you'll definitely have to insert that content control. If you're doing this in Afrikaans, it's obviously Rekenaar Toepassingstechnologie. And the PAT topic you can put in under title. So this will be the topic that you have chosen. For 2019, this will be the online activity that you have chosen. So my fictional one will be gardening. I see they've put subtitle and subject as the same thing. I'm just going to delete this content control because I don't need it. Need it. So any content control that you don't need, you click on the three dots and then you press delete on your keyboard. 
All right. So abstract, you can just leave there. You're not going to fill abstract in until phase three. If there isn't a content control for abstract, please put one in there so that you remember to fill it in. So under quick parts, document property, abstract. If you don't have a space to put it in and you don't want to put it in at the bottom or wherever there is a space, you can always insert a new text box wherever you want on this cover page. Say you want to put it at the top or wherever. You can insert it wherever you'd like to put your abstract. Remember the cover page basically uses shapes to make the whole page. All right, next page. Now we're going to start creating the structure of your document. And we're going to copy the headings that we've got over here because you really don't have to retype all of them. So I'm just going to right click copy. And I'll just paste it as plain text and I'll just delete these bullets. And all of these will be a heading one. Heading one style. You have to use styles for this project. As you will see here, we need to create an addendum for a folder structure and an addendum called declaration of authenticity under the appendices. So under appendices, you'll have addendum one, folder structure, addendum, well, you can call it A or B. Usually we call it A, B and C. Addendum B will be your questions and sources table. These will all need to be a heading two style. All right, now that you've got a cover page and some headings, I suggest you change the view to multiple pages so that you can see both pages and you actually go and change your theme to something that you like. So now you can play around with a style and a theme that you like to actually make the document a bit more suited, your, suited to your style and something that you like. Remember, you can change the colors over here. Um, you can change the sub style sets. There's quite a few to choose from over here. Whatever you like, but make it something that you will enjoy working with. The idea is that you change all the formatting rather by using themes, style sets, and something here in colors and fonts, rather than changing anything manually. The idea is not to change anything manually, but rather working with the styles that's built in already.